And there's William Watts, the young man from Pleasant Grove, who handles the kickoff chores for Alabama. And he'll boot it deep. Watts. Fielding at about the three-yard line is Ronald Jones. He's tripped up quickly. Chris Pierce handles the punting and kicking chores for Southern Miss, and he boots a nice kick that goes all the way back to the 20-yard line. So Chris Pierce kicks Southern Miss out of trouble. Two tight ends. Stay back to pass. There's the completion, and he breaks the record to Sherman Williams, who has open room to run. Gets a first down, Alabama. It's official. It's official. Jeff Rutledge's record, along with David Smith. You're now number two on the list. <laughs> and he's lined up over the center now. Out of the shotgun goes Barker. Wide open, Chad Key. Pushed out of bounds around the 39-yard line. It'll be short of the first down. Alabama with the best punt coverage in the nation, allowing only 2.8 yards a return. Brian Deal, a big part of that. Of course, that won't be returned. The ball down around the 32-yard line, but special teams have played a big factor in Alabama's 5-0 start from the shotgun. Second and eight. Graham to the sidelines again, completes the pass, and it's a first down Southern Miss. Another completion for Heath Graham. Great, great throw. Each completion, he is getting more confidence. You can see him bouncing around out there on the football field. Jeff Pierce will, Chris Pierce will kick it away. This one may go into the end zone. No, it's down right at the three-yard line by a hustling Kendrick Lee. A 38-yard punt, no return, and down on the two- or three-yard line. Albert McCray was on that stop. We'll call his name quite a bit this afternoon. He leads the team in tackles. Sherman finds a gap. First down and more. Hands out a lick. And the tide in business. All sorts of people jumping that time. Jay went ahead and threw the ball to Curtis Brown. Jay did a great job there. I'm thinking. Great time to go deep here. What do I know? Just outruns the defenders for the first down and more up around the 32 yard line. So Alabama will kick it away. They're that far from a first down. It's too early to take a chance. Brian Deal. This time really kicks a nice spiraling kick down to the 19. And again, there's that coverage from Alabama's special teams. Keith Graham, an event for him in his first collegiate start. Huge haul, big gainer. Second down and one. Draw another gaping haul. Forges ahead up to the 48-yard line. But his yards per carry is increasing. There's Buckhalter breaking a tackle and going for more. Another first down. Pierce punting in, kicking. Here he goes from 48. It's blocked. Blocked by the Crimson Tide. And that gets the crowd on their feet here at Bryant Denny Stadium. Well, neither team has really been able to do much on offense. And, uh, but uh, Southern Miss has to feel good about the way they've been moving the ball. But Alabama fans have been pretty flat. But with that block kick, maybe they're getting into the game and they'll be able to pick up Alabama on the intensity level. Back to you. Out to Tarrant Lynch. Close to a first down. You're right, last week the crowd did not want to leave. Young lady was enjoying the game. You can see it right there. Mom needs to wipe off her face, I think. Uh, <laughs> I know from experience with, with first down. Plan, a defensive line coach, he hates that. There's that 3-4 look for Southern Miss. Tobias, number 94, and there's the blitz. Completed to Todrick Malone. He has to come back to the quarterback because he sees he's in trouble. Deal punts it away. Fourth and three. And again, no return. And here comes Chris Pierce. He was late arriving on the field. That's a low line drive fielded at the 45 by Tommy Johnson. Looking to get to that wall, flag down. 
Blocked in the back on the return, 10 yards from the spot of the foul. Timeout. In motion is West. And there's the reverse. So West. Breaks a tackle. First forward. Gain of six or seven. Third down and four. Coderick Malone in motion. Jay looking for Patrick Haight. Haight breaks the tackle. Wrestled down around the eight yard line. Patrick Haight. They roll out. Good coverage on Curtis Brown. Hey, touchdown, Curtis Brown. He fought his way clear for the touch. This was a great catch by Curtis Brown. Andre Royal now breaks off, and we're seven men up around the line of scrimmage. There's the sack from Damian Jeffries, the fumble, and a touchdown, Matt Parker. There's the Matt Parker. <laughs> Kenny Ray, a veteran center. Over the middle and caught. Nice grab. Five minutes now to play before halftime. Another catch. Another first down for Southern Miss. From the 43. There's Shaw. Harold Shaw, the freshman from McGee, Mississippi. It's a big one. Over a personal foul against the defense. 15 yards, automatic first down. If you're on defense, you can't get up, start conversation, and badmouth each other because it always catches the second guy. Another completed pass, a broken tackle. He looked back to his receiver. Real safe throw. There's Buckhalter. Goes to the outside. The shade towns it, knocks him out of bounds, but not before he picks up the first down. Third down and 12. Tied with a big turnover. Dwayne Rudd, the freshman from Batesville, Mississippi, on the pick. Made a great, great play. Brian Steger, there's the fumble. It goes right back to Southern Miss. Golden Eagles have it. Brian Steger took a good lick, coughed it up. Big third down play here. Heath Graham back in, third down and three. Touchdown, Southern Miss. The old pick play, that's all it was, but then he threw to the guy that was picking. Hopefully we'll see this right here. Big drive, big chance right there for Southern Mississippi to get back this ball game. Block, Tommy Johnson. Picked up by Pickett, Paul Pickett. He's finally brought down. Jay Barker has a minute 40 to work with. Plenty of time. This Chad Key has those sticky hands. Alabama has some talented tight ends when you think of Patrick Hape, Tony Johnson, and the young man from Irwin High School, Rod Rutledge. Off the side of his foot, one of the worst kicks you'll ever see Brian make. Alabama downs it around the 35, and now Southern Miss has 55 seconds and three timeouts. Pierce gets a good one away. Tommy Johnson feels it at the 18. He was trying to get out of bounds. It'll be my pleasure at halftime to talk with Mel Allen, one of the all-time greats behind the microphone. Alabama alumnus back for homecoming. And that does it for the first half. Alabama on top, 14 to 6. There you see the score, Jeff. So far, uh, not the greatest half, but Alabama's on top 14-6. Well, the lights are on at Bryant-Denny Stadium. The sun has gone behind the clouds now. Chris Pierce kicks off. Fielder right at the goal line. Tripped up quickly as Rodney Gibson, the junior from Bruton. 
Went to T.R. Miller High School. And the SEC record, I think, is 175, somewhere around there, by Eric Zier. Which is amazing when you consider how wild Eric Zier is sometimes. Karen Lynch out of bounds. And 22 youngsters on this Southern Miss roster from the state of Alabama. Which is always the case. They do heavily as Tarrant Lynch won't go down. And there was no whistle, so he just kept on churning. Made a great run last week against Georgia, one of the best you'll ever see, because he had nowhere to go. Horace Turner gives Tarrant Lynch a breather, and he goes forward for six yards. Horace Turner in front of Sherman Williams, Malone and Key of the wideouts. There's Sherman. Big hole on the right side, goes for the first down, and he showed that against North Carolina in the Gator Bowl with his scrambling ability, and they had several draw plays which are just for him. Threw that short, flags down. Ruffin, that's not the way you want to have your first pass. You get hit Ruffin like the that. Ruffin the passer, 15 yard penalty against the defense, automatic first. There's Lamont sitting right next to Jay. You can see Lamont conversing with Jay Barker, so we'll get the report firsthand from Lamont in just a moment. Ryan Deal. Hopes to get the bounce, and he does. All right, he got a punter's dream when it comes to bounces down at the three-yard line from the end zone. Alabama setting up the return. Tommy Johnson fielding the punts today. And the ball goes out of bounds around the 49-yard line, a 41-yard kick. We'll check in with Lamont Russell after this play on the status of Jay Barker, third down and six. Ryan looking for his first completion, and he gets it, although it's short of the first down, Chad Key. It does not appear that Jay will return, especially with Tennessee coming up a week from today. LT Gully calls for the fair catch. 25-yard kick by Brian Deal. Graham goes deep. He has an open receiver, and it's caught. And he's out of bounds at the 50-yard line. He's also the uh, inside linebackers coach. The right guard for Southern Miss jumped, so another penalty for the Golden Eagles. And what's the Got new the quarterback? Defense. Disconcerting signals. Oh, they call oh, it an Alabama. Okay. Take that back. All right. 16 carries, 49 yards for Buckhalter. First down, Ryan Pearson. He's the young man who caught the touchdown pass. Under five minutes now to play third quarter. This is the drive that started on the 15-yard line. There's the reverse option and the turnover. Alabama on top of it. And there's the big turnover you spoke of. Three and out. Defense did what uh, really they had to do. Ryan Deal with a nice spiraling kick back to the 10-yard line. Goes Pearson. He falls forward. On the coverage for Alabama, John Tanks. Certainly emotionally after that thrilling win against Georgia and with Tennessee ahead, but uh, they have a lot of work to do today as Buckhalter finds a haul and goes forward for seven yards. Pearson is in the slot, now in motion. First down which helps him get those extra yards. Keith Grant taking his time, and there's your man again, looking to the outside. Puts his head down. Was it a fumble? The ball did break free, but the official said he was down. Second down and four. 1.15 to play in the third quarter. And he might have the first down. Second down and seven. Six. Looks like a busted play. But he turns it into positive yardage in the first down. And here we go again. Another field goal. Let's see if Alabama can block a third one. Chris Pierce has kicked two very low. 44-yard attempt for the junior from Jackson, Mississippi. Got it again. Ball goes into the end zone. 
And it will be down. That's just miscommunication by Alabama's offensive line. You saw the guard double down with the center. He should have picked up the blitzer to his left. The Pollard makes a great play. Pearson. Down to the 39-yard line, a 43-yard kick, 8-yard return. After the play was over, unsportsmanlike conduct against the receiving team. 15-yard penalty, but it'll still be first. And Southern Miss is... Uh, they score, they'll go for two points. Wide open, wide open is number 89, Kendrick Lee. And I was told by one of the coaches he got half of his tooth knocked out early in the game, but just came out to the sideline, spit it out, and said, let's go. So Alabama really has to hang in there. Flag down, intentional grounding it appears to be. Did you hear what Lamont said there? He had his teeth knocked out early in the game, went to the sidelines. Ooh. That was the play. That's right. He missed. Down by the goal line. And then throws the touchdown. Came back in, sped out his teeth. Fair catch, Tommy Johnson. Puts back to Sherman Williams. Sherman runs out of bounds. Third down, once again for Alabama. Not had a lot of success today on third down. One out of nine, third down conversions. They get one out of ten. Brian with a big boot. Back to the 35 goes Pearson. <laughs> yeah. They Gain 35 yards and you're punting. Big boom. Pearson's Johnson all the way back to the five. Tommy has a wall and plenty of room. Thanks, Lamont. 13 penalties now, 133 yards against Southern Miss. Tarrant Lynch, first down, Alabama. That's the first first down in a while for the Crimson Tide. Third down and 10 now. The Tide, one out of 10 in converting these third downs. In a long afternoon, Brian goes down. And he delivers a booming kick that sends Gully back to the 15. He brings it up around the 27, a 49-yard kick, 9-yard return. In the Fiesta Bowl that same year, Browning Nagel threw for 330-some-odd yards as Louisville beat the tie. There's a completed pass to Pearson. First down, so the clock will stop as they move the chains. And lost it up. Intercepted, Sam Shade. Has room to run. He'll just keep running and the time keeps ticking away. Sam out of bounds around the 42-yard line. A minute and a half to play. The great defensive coach for the Bear all those years. Wind up his career at Tennessee, I do believe, with Johnny Majors. And that'll do it. That's the end of the game. It's in the books. Alabama 14, Southern Mississippi. They always seem to play tough against Alabama. No exception today. They wind up with six. Gene Stallings will come across and shake hands with Jeff Bauer. Not a whole lot said there. His team put up a good fight. And Heath Graham. Put on a nice show.